praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome in Jesus' name. This is our moment of victory. And my prayer is that the Almighty God will give you victory in whatever you lay your hands upon in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray you will move from glory to glory, from power to power in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Anointing of divine exception in whatever that ravaged the earth. Anointing of divine exception shall be mighty upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, you are welcome on this program, Moment of Victory. There's a particular prayer I want us to pray three times. And uh, I want to read a particular place. I want to read a, uh, a, a, a place in the Bible. And uh, that one will lead us to this prayer. When you look at Psalm 1 to 5, Psalm 1 to 5, verse 1 says, Say, they that trust in the Lord shall be at Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, which cannot be removed, which cannot be removed, but abide there forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. And look at verse 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Let the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. You need to pray again the rod of the wicked. It is forbidden for the rod of the wicked to come upon your life. Any area you send the rod of the wicked, you need to deal with that rod and break it to pieces because the stand of the scripture is that for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. So that the righteous will not put their hands into iniquity. I want you to close your eyes and pray this prayer in anger. Say, every rod of the wicked around my life, break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every rod of the wicked around my life, I break you now in the name of Jesus. I break you now in the name of Jesus. I break you now in the name of Jesus. I break you now in the name of Jesus. Rod of the wicked, break now. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say manifestation of the rod of the wicked in the affairs of my life. Disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest Manifestation of the rod of the wicked in the affairs of my life disappear, 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 disappear. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say progress of the rod of the wicked in my life. Stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the progress of the rod of the wicked in my life stop now. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray for you, every manifestation of this evil rod in any area of your life, whether in your marriage, whether in your family, or in anything you are doing in your career, in your business, I break it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Manifestation of the rod of the wicked in your head is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. I cover you the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Uh, tonight, by the grace of God, we'll be looking into this topic, receiving from heaven. Receiving from heaven. And this one will take us to this popular John chapter 3. John chapter 3, verse 27. Receiving from heaven. John chapter 3, uh, look at verse 27. Very popular place. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. In the same vein, look at James chapter 1. James chapter 1 and look at verse 17. James chapter 1 verse 17. And it reads, Every good gift 
and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Very simple and direct. Every good gift, every perfect gift. So you know that gift can be good and gift can be bad. Gift can be perfect and gift can be imperfect. But the, the characteristics of gift from heaven, it must be good and it must be perfect. No one, the Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, you make it rich and had no sorrow. So anything from God is void of sorrow. I pray the Lord will give you a gift. In the name of Jesus Christ, receiving from heaven. God remains the source of life. God remains the source of everything that pertains to life and godliness. Only the author of life can give you things that will make for real living. Only God. But unfortunately, many look for things from different sources, apart from the real source that is God. And Apostle John said, A man receives nothing except from heaven. So you know, anything you get from another source, as far as Bible is concerned, is nothing. No matter how precious it looks in the eyes of people, according to the scripture, the standard of scripture is that is nothing. It's only what you receive from God that stands forever and that's a good gift and that is a perfect gift. Meaning that whatsoever you get from other sources, apart from God, is capital nothing. No matter how great whatsoever, whatsoever you got from other source is nothing for sake of emphasis. I want you to understand today that lasting gifts or lasting things that really have eternal value come only from almighty God, from God. That is why you must put your total trust in God. Never be tempted to make man or woman your source. Don't. Do not put your trust in man. Put your trust in God. They that trust the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed by abide there forever. He said, As mountain is round about Jerusalem, the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and even forevermore. You need to put your trust in God. Man is here for the while. Do not put your total trust in man. Man is vulnerable to falling. Man dies, but God remains forever. Look at Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah 17. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17. I want us to look at it together for the sake of clarity. Look at Jeremiah 17 verse 5. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted a man. And make a flesh his arm, hmm. and whose heart departed from the Lord. For he shall be like the heart in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. And whose hope the Lord is. Look at the outcome of this. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out a root by the river. And he shall not see when it cometh. But our leaves shall be green. And shall not be careful in the year of drought that we are. Neither shall cease from yielding food because he put his trust in God. 
it be refreshing. You will have enough to give in the time of it. It will come, it will not sit. Others may be passing to her, but he will, his own life will be so blissful that people say, ah, who is that God you serve? Because he put his trust in God. I want to, I want to encourage you tonight. Please put your two trust on it. Put your trust in God. He is God that can never fail. He will never fail you. Put your trust in God. Whatever you claim you have or you have received from God, it must pass through some tests. We have some acid tests that it must pass through. Don't forget how James put it. James said, every good gift, every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of life, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. No corny, corny way in the proper contents of the of Nigeria. You don't do it corny, corny way. No. Or be straightforward. There must be tests. They will pass through the tests. The gift from God must be good gift. That's what's test. That is, that gift must glorify God. Praise God. Good gift. The gift from God we draw you closer to the giver that is god he is not the gift that will take you away from god take you away from church there are some people immediately they have the initial source they just go out from god they go somewhere else they don't believe in god again they believe in affluence they believe in money they have forgotten that everything is for a while so any gift from god will bring you closer to the source to God, you will like God more. So the gift from God, it will make you serve God more. He will not send you away from church on the things of God. In fact, you will be so happy to use it to serve God in humility. The gift that comes from God, that gift that other will see in you and they'll be giving testimony on your behalf that is the gift from god i pray for you right now receive such gift now in the name of jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus christ the type of gift we are talking about it must be a perfect gift without fear the gift that has no altar of darkness. He comes from the Father of light. No darkness at all. With whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. It will be gift that is void of darkness. Perfect gift from God without human logic. No deception. That is the gift from God. It is a lasting gift. We need to start praying and looking for such gift in Christ. If there's anything we need to look for, to live on, is the gift from the Almighty God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. So, my earnest desire is that God himself shall give you a lasting gift. I mean, the gift that will last generation. As you look unto him, the author and finisher of your faith, he will give you the gift that will last your generation. You know the best way, the best gift, the proper gift that you need for this season. The gift that you need for this season. Receive now, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. You know the gift for the season. You know that you need to live in health. You know that there's no amount of money that can buy you health and sand health or buy you protection. It can't buy you safety. So God has a proper gift for everybody. If you look unto him, you get that gift, the author of life. He knows. He knows the best gift you need for the season. He knows that that major gift that will restore all your losses. He knows. I pray for you right now. The gift, the major gift 
that will restore all your losses this year. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Receive now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He knows that gift that can give you long life. He said, with long life, I will satisfy them. The gift that will give you long life. I pray that the gift that will give you long life, the Lord will give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. The gift that will cut down your life, you will not receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. There are some gifts that kill it. There are some gifts that can cut down. There are some gifts that can amputate people's life, amputate their destiny. That is why the Bible says every good gift, every perfect gift is from above. A man receiving nothing except is given to him from above. He knows your needs. Just ask for it, look for it, and you will get. I pray for you sincerely. That same gift you receive now in the name of your today, you receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to close your eyes and pray this prayer. You, it is time for you to receive from heaven. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, give me lasting gift today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father. Give me lasting gift. Give me lasting gift. Give me lasting gift. Give me lasting gift. Give me the gift that is permanent. Give that is lasting. Give that will be permanent with me. Lord, Lord, give me lasting gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, the God of all season, give me the gift that will restore my wasted years in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, the God of all season, give me the gift that will restore all my wasted years in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the gift that will restore all my wasted years in the name of Jesus. Give me the gift that will restore all my wasted years in the name of Jesus. Give me the gift that will restore all my wasted years in Jesus' name. We pray. Pray this next prayer also. Say, thou secret rage of my enemy against my progress. Say it. Thou secret rage of my enemies against my project, uh, pro progress. Quench in the name of Jesus Christ. Secret rage of my enemy against my pro progress. I command you, quench now, quench now, quench now, quench now. Thou secret rage of my enemy against my progress. Quench, 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 quench. Quench, 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 quench now. In Jesus' name we pray. Declare this one also before we go. Say, my life shall not suddenly disappear on the scene of glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy it and say it. My life shall not suddenly disappear on the scene of glory. On the platform of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not suddenly disappear on the platform of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not go at the prime of my life. Ma se kapushuna re kaponia. Ma re kaposhuna re kapale ma ze kaposhuna. Yes, declare it. I will not go suddenly or disappear suddenly on the scene of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Thank you, wonderful Redeemer. To you alone be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. I pray, O oh Lord, anyone, O oh God, that has decided to be looking unto you alone for gift to receive from you. Father, I pray, lasting gift, permanent gift, O oh Lord, the gift that will last generation, begin to give unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you. I cover you the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, wonderful Redeemer. To you alone be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Don't forget, please, don't forget. Don't forget every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. No matter what is happening, don't give up. Just hold on to God. Resist the temptation to give up. And uh, you will have your victory at the end of everything. And you are going to have lasting celebration in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for your life. I want to thank you for listening to us. God is a great God. God is a wonderful Father. Jesus said that He is the light of the world. That anyone that walketh in Him shall not walk in darkness any longer, but shall have the light of life. As you are listening to us, following us on this moment of victory, I pray that every form of darkness in your life, the light of the gospel shall destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. No darkness will overshadow your life. 
or destroy your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget, every moment of resistance to a temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. Jesus is by your side. You're on top. It is well with you. Same time next week. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Lagos Region 1, presents Moment of Victory online series. Watch live impacting episodes of Luke and Live series with Pastor Dr. Moses Adebowale, Senior Regional Overseer, MFM Lagos Region 1, every Tuesday by 9 p.m. on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Audio also available on Mixlar at MFM Lagos Region 1. Remember, every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. God bless you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry. Sure, sure, the Lord, the Lord is here.